Good morning in South Africa, guys. Thank you very much for joining us. Um, I think we had a really good two days of preparation. Um, obviously, the last game didn't go according to plan. Um, I think uh, we know that we just didn't execute um, like we would have liked. But um, looking ahead, um, I think we can take a lot of learning from the first game. Um, we have now managed to play two games on this wicket, and we know that um, there's a lot in for batters and bowlers. Um, obviously, unfortunately, the toss only determines the start of the game, but we did find that it is um, actually a little bit easier for the team bowling first. The wicket kind of really gets flat in the afternoon. Um, that being said, I just think in the previous game, we maybe didn't take our chances in the field and um, we just weren't as switched on as we could be. So looking forward in the next game, we'll definitely make sure that um, we've, we've got, we came up with a few plans against specific batters. Um, and then we'll definitely, with a batting point of view, I think all of the batters got starts, but we just now need um, somebody to convert their start and get a big partnership. So I think the last two days of preparation was really successful. We could see the girls working on specific skills. So really excited about the next game tomorrow. Yeah, it's going to be extremely important. I think um, they definitely bounced back really well. And hopefully we can do the same. I mean, um, we know that it's, I don't think, um, it's not that the, on the day they've outplayed us completely, but it was more of a fact that we just didn't execute our skills like we can. And like I mentioned, the, the batters all got starts, but we didn't convert. So I don't think 150 years never going to be a very competitive total. We know they've got a very strong batting lineup. So I think, like you mentioned, we would definitely like to nip it in the butt. Um, and um, we know it's like, it's not you don't lose your skills overnight. So hopefully we can just come and do exactly the same and bounce back even stronger. We know as a South African team, we've got a lot of dog fights and um, that's what South Africans are known for. So we definitely can come out strong tomorrow. Well, unfortunately, like we mentioned before, the toss actually determines the start of the game. We can't let it affect, affect the way we play. Um, the toss is something, it's uh, it's an uncontrollable. So we feel like, um, I think you've all heard the saying, control the controllables. And that's definitely something that we want to do in, in our side. Um, so the toss, we can't let it allow let the toss affect us at all. Um, yes, we have seen that, and, and I've mentioned it before, that we do feel like it's it's a wicket that if you bowl first, there's definitely something in for the bowlers early on, um, and, and it gets flatter later on. But I think if we if we have to bat first again, and um, and we can just make sure that we get a strong start and maybe not lose an early wicket, um, that's that's all we need. I think that was the, the only difference in the last game is unfortunately we just didn't manage um, to to see out that, that that first six to ten overs when there's still something in the wicket. I think it's a bit of both and um, definitely the, the wickets has been really good I think from the from the word go when we got in India and practice I know it's a different facility and I don't think the facility has had much game time um, on the wicket so it's really freshly prepared um, and it's been really good we were quite surprised with the with the amount of bounds and, and speed that is in the wicket I think um, from a bowling point of view our seamers usually get to India and they're quite frustrated because they know the ball's going to turn a lot and it's going to suit the, the spinners a bit more. But um, even from from the Indian point of view, uh, um, we are used to the spinners really turning the ball. And an actual fact in the last few games, we haven't seen the same type of turn that they actually got when they played in South Africa. Um, so it's definitely something that we just have to be cautious of. Um, I think we tend to spend a lot of time focusing on the spinners. But um, like like you've mentioned in the last few games, it's actually seam um, that, that takes the wicket and I think we just need to make sure that we as batters um, actually when the seamers come on, concentrate an extra little bit harder because you know, because usually you relax a little bit because you know there's going to be pace on the ball and it's actually in just in those moments that we just have, have to make sure that we stay sharp. Hi Morgan. Um, yeah, I think, it, I wouldn't say it's complacency. I think like you mentioned, we've had a good run and we've played seven, we've actually won seven games back to back in the ODI format. So I don't think it is um, anything to do with that. I just think on the day we didn't execute like we would have wanted to. Um, I think they got a little bit lucky striking in that first over with Lozelle um, and they kind of took a lot of momentum from there. So I wouldn't say that, but um, all in all, it, it is you have to be switched on every single game you play. So um, we'll definitely make sure that we come back stronger. It's, it's like we, we, it wasn't the ideal um, game we wanted to play, um, especially after the way we started um, being so good in all three departments. It was bat, with bat ball and in the field. And I just think we let ourselves down it's, it's never going to be easy for our bowlers to, to defend 150 and then we didn't really back it up in the field. So all in all, it was just one of those, not the best days at the office, but I wouldn't say that it was because we were complacent. Um, she's actually played there in the last series against Pakistan as well. And I think it's also got to do with her um, from a bowling point of view, just to make sure that we, we get a, give her enough time in between like the spells and whether she has to bat. Um, but we know how good she is in, in, 
went to that early. Um, I think with Marija, uh, the Naifani Karak also not being here, it kind of just changed the, the batting order slightly. She usually bats at number four, and um, and then it just like the top order shifts around a little bit. But I think um, Sunay has done a fantastic job for us at number three, and um, we just know how valuable Kapi can be for us at the back end. I think she's one of those very experienced players that can can um, if she comes in early and she has to um, bat for a long period, she can do that. But she can also take away a game. Uh, sorry, a game away from the opposition. And um, her experience at the back end, I think that was one of the areas in the past we've kind of struggled. We do really well in the, in the beginning and then in the middle period, we, we tend to lose quite a, a few wickets in clusters. So um, I think that's just one of the strategies if we can have another batter, senior batter at the back end that can just control that, that middle period back part for us. Yeah, I definitely think um, it is something that our medical staff are also taking in consideration. Um, obviously, a player's health is really important, and we not, we need to make sure that um, we give her the best opportunity to perform at a, a, a level best. Now, I think uh, she's done a fantastic job um, at number four. Um, I think she's really she was actually the batter that scored the most runs in the last game, and she knows she she was pretty frustrated getting off, knowing that she, that she was the batter that needed to take it deep, and um, she got out just before she got a fifty, and I and I saw. Say to her, I think she's she's actually done all the hard work. She deserved the big score. Um, so no, I think um, she is doing a fantastic job just where she is, and I, I think the left right hand combination is doing quite well for us. Um, I, I think it's actually better with a left right hand against Kostrovi just to ensure that she can't really settle into a length. So if we put myself or copy up the order and just have right handers, it's going to be too easy for her to settle in. So we we like the left right hand combination that we have going. I mean, you're just on Laura Goodall. What do you like about her betting? Uh, she's a really excited youngster um, and she's done really well. I think I've actually played in a game with her against India before where we've managed to do quite well and, and get a good partnership and against Sri Lanka. Um, she's really good against spin. She's quite comfortable and, um, and using her feet and then she's a very good sweeper of the ball. Um, and um, as a left hander, they usually like it when the ball comes onto the legs and they can clip it off the legs. Um, so... I think all in all, she's just um, she's got a lot of patience. She and I know she's 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 really worked hard on the game. Like you mentioned, she hasn't been a, a consistent fixture in the past. Um, but I know it's something that she's gone back and worked on, and she definitely want to make sure that that uh, she imprints herself in this in this momentum between us line lineup. And um, I think was actually young, so the way she played in the last game really showed some of her character. Um, it wasn't easy losing um, partners all the time around you. I, I know as as a better myself, if you're in the middle and you want to shift gears, but then you keep on losing wickets, you have to kind of hold yourself back. So I don't think we've seen just the best of her yet. She's still got a, a, a lot more to offer, and I'm excited to see what she's going to bring in, in the last few games. Um, yeah, it is not easy to lose as a sports man, but it's not easy to win. But it's not easy to win. 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 Ons best te speel nie. Ek dink, ons het so goed begin in die eerste ene wedstrijd um, met die, die bat en die bal en in die veld. En ek dink, ons was bykie frustreerd omdat ons het nie opgevolg het in die tweede wedstrijd nie. Um, maar, maar India het ons ongelukkig op die dag, um, het hulle was beter as ons. So, um, ek dink vir ons is het net om te weet, het is nie, mens verloor nie jou, um, jou talent oor nacht nie. Ons vanaf nie terugkom, lekker honger wees en, um, en net ons best te gee in die volgende wedstrijd. Um, ek dink wat ons kort gekom het in die vorige wedstrijd is, ons het ongelukkig as schoolwers ons het ons self ingekry, maar ons het nie um, aangegaan om, om een groot te maak. En so ek dink dit was die eerste ding, um, ongelukkig met 150 op die bord, ek gaan het baie moeilik wees vir ons bouders om dit tegen so sterk spans soos Indie um, te, te, te keer dat hulle dit kry. So dit is ongelukkig die ene ding, ek dink ons het um, in ons schoolspel die hele tijd talkies verloor gereeld. So ons het nooit raarig een groot vernootskap gehad nie. So ek dink dit is een van die goedkies wat ons definitief aan gaan wil werk is om een groot vernootskap te kry en van die kolvers, um, hulle, hulle, hulle kry hulle self aan die gang, maar ma, hulle moet verder gaan en, en een groot telling maak. En dan is het kom, ek dink ook ons in die veld was ons een bykie um, een bykie dood geweest. Ek dink ons gaan definitief baie meer energie wil bring in die veld. En ja, ek dink ons laatste tweede, ons het tweede gehad van goeie oefensessies en ek dink die meisjes is is baie ook gewonde vir die volgende wedstrijd en om ons hard uit te speel. Maar Shafiq, um, ja, ek weet, ek sikkel het nou self daarmee op een tykeer, wat ook een lekker sterk 
onderhand het, so ons, ons hou daarvan om, om na die bykant toe um, loopies te slaan, maar um, ach, ek dink is iets wat, uh, ek dink nie, dit is redig een uh, probleem nie, ek dink um, wanneer die bal in die wegkant is, is hy gemakkelijk om hom daar dier te slaan, ek dink net um, betek het, as die golver het, tenminste maar een paar sterkpunte en vir haar is die sterkpunte daar ook meer aan die bykant en dit is goed, want dit um, vir alles sy so weer saam met iemand kolf soos Laura Wolfhard, dat weer verskrikke sterk is aan die wegkant, denk ek, hulle komplementeer mekaar goed. Um, maar ek is seker, dit is iets wat sy, um, sy is definitief bezig om daar aan te werk en um, saam met die afdrukkingsspan is hulle bezig om vir haar te help met ander opties ook, ek dink um, en ek, ek dink rarig dat um, ek sal dit nie sien as, as iets wat daar terug hou nie, ek dink sy is gemakkelijk beide kante, ek dink net sy het ook een bykie een bykie meer, ek sal weet nie die rechte woord vir preference, um, na die bene kant toe nie, en, maar dit is ook recht, want sy het soveel gapings, baie keer is die is daar meer gapings aan, aan die bene kant um, en, en ek is ek dink, daar is nie te veel wat ons daar aan hoef te lees nie um, maar um, ek is sy die jong speler en ek dink ons gaan nog maar van ons sien in die toekomst Unfortunately, with the COVID um, in place and, and all the, the, the um, biosecure uh, protocols, it's it's not really easy. We tend to see them every now and again when we just uh, move in between um, the dining hall and the team rooms. But unfortunately, I think this time around, it's it's been a little bit different than, than what we used to in the past. In the past, we had the opportunity to grab a quick coffee and catch up. Um, but at the moment, that's why we had to catch up at the ground, because I think that's actually the only time that we get to see each other at the moment is when we play against each other, which is, um, but that just being said, I think um, in this times, it's just, we're just all happy to be able to play cricket. So if it is just a short catch up at the ground, uh, it will have to do for now.